Hi boys and girls, I hope you're enjoying your break away from school and that you've been outside playing a lot and getting lots of fresh air. But if the weather's bad or you simply don't feel like going out, we do have a cute little craft for you to make at home. So what I've made here and what we're hoping you will make as well is this very cute little melting snowman. So the reason I'm holding him like this will come along in the instructions. I'm not trying to block the view of him. So what you're going to need are hopefully things you can find around the house. I did have to make one trip to the dollar store just to get a piece of white foam and a little light. Everything else I managed to gather up. So what you're going to do to start is with your piece of foam or if you've got white paper at home you could use that as well is you'll need two different sizes of round items to trace. So I chose a saucer and a teapot lid. And then the third item which is his head is this little tea light. And that's why I was holding it the way it is. You don't want to glue this down because the switch on the back you'll need to be able to get at to turn him on and off. So once you've traced your two shapes and you take them apart, you'll glue them one on top of the, oh, there he goes, one on top of the other like I've done here. And then if you want, you can add a little bit of snow to him and just glue it down lightly. Don't use too much or it'll be all over your hands. Or if you've got cotton balls, you can use that as well. For his arms, I have pipe cleaners, or you could go outside and gather some small twigs now that the bushes are bare and they don't have any leaves on them. I do have buttons here and googly eyes. I just chose to use a black marker to make mine, but you can use whatever you want. And you'll also need some glue. If you decide to make this craft, we'd love to have you take pictures of yours, send it in to us. You can send it to a museum at penetanguishing.ca and we will include that on our Facebook post so you don't have to remember it right now. Send your pictures in and then we'll be able to display them on Facebook. So we'll be watching for those pictures and continue to enjoy your break from school.